Hey again, friends. So this is another unboxing video. I just got these two goodies yesterday. I had to travel a long distance to retrieve them, but hopefully it'll be worth it. So um, you could probably guess what this is, but uh, let's uh, let's go ahead and uh, turn it upside, and then we'll unbox it and see what's inside and see what it looks like. So yeah, that's my new Quattro inverter, Victron Quattro, 48 volt, 5,000 VA, 70 amp, output 120 volts AC, blue power, definitely. So let's get in here and see what we got. Well, I don't like these staples. I know they are strong and hold boxes together, but they can uh, they can get into your thumb and finger pretty easy, and it's not a happy moment when that happens. So I will make sure and dispose of those properly. Some nice squishy stuff in there, that's good. Keep everything safe. Got our uh, documentation packet and a wall bracket to hang it from. Looks like that'll be fairly easy to install. Let's see, five screws. What do you call that? A French cleat? Something like that. That just hangs on the wall, and then there's a a matching cleat on the back of the inverter that it hangs off of. <clears throat> Boy, that's a pretty unit, isn't it? Turn it around so we can see what's what. back here you can see here's a matching cleat right here that'll hang on that bracket we saw in the manual package <clears throat> oh there's another uh, bracket down low too so once you get it hung on the cleat you can secure it further with two more screws nice desiccant pack there Let's see what we got. On, off, charger only switch. Indicator lights for the charger. Mains on. Bulk absorption and float. Converter lights. Inverter on. Overload. Low battery. Temperature. Oh, here's a... Hmm. On the bottom here, we've got a cable tucked into this little crevice. Also have your chassis ground terminal there. Ah, I can't get that out of there. What the heck? Ah, I don't know what that is. Huh. Huh. I guess I'll have to see if I can remove this panel to get that 
cable out of there. Not sure what that is. Um, gosh, here's a here's a cable port, and then these uh, glands. These nice water-resistant glands, and then a slot here for. Not sure what that is. That's battery input and output, probably. Battery cables in and out here. Let's see. I'm going to see if I can get these screws off and have a look inside. <coughs> Risk of electric shock. Do not remove cover. No user serviceable parts inside. Refer servicing to qualified service personnel. I guess that would be me here on the Metagrid. Before charging, read the instructions. For indoor use only, disconnect the supply before making or breaking the connections to the battery. Warning, explosive gases prevent flames and sparks. Provide adequate ventilation during charging. Charge lead acid or lithium ion batteries only. DC input isolated from AC output. Luckily, I'm a qualified service personnel. At least here in our little domain. So I can open it. another chassis ground here and a chassis ground here. Those are separate. Hmm, interesting. So that's a ground. Oh, that's just a ground. That's not a chassis ground. That's a ground for the AC input. And this is a ground for the AC outputs. So yeah, we've got our battery negative terminal, battery positive terminal. There's two two terminals for each one for two for positive and two for negative so we've got a V sense T sense AUGS one AUGS two ground relay I had a dude at one of the well-known marine supply houses that carry Victron products tell me that there was no ground relay in this unit but there it is right there. So a trickle charge with some dip switches. Interesting. There's no terminal on that though. I wonder what that is. Uh, so in some relay outputs here, K1, K2, and uh, here's the AC input side, line neutral. Oh no, this is the AC output side. Line and neutral. Oh no, that's AC in there. Oh, AC in one, AC in two. Interesting. So you can have two inputs on this quattro, which will be very handy since uh, we'll probably be using it to shunt power from. Uh, some of our hydroelectrically charged systems to the central solar system here. And uh, you can configure these inputs too. Um, like one can be primary, one can be secondary. So the primary is active until it goes away and then it'll pull power off the secondary. <clears throat> uh, you can also limit the amps that it'll suck from any of either of these inputs. Uh, which is nice because I w I'm not going to want to drain the, the battery of the uh, hydroelectrically charged systems that we'll be shunting power from. Uh, apparently you can also have it, um, say, say if you configure AC in to only pull, say, 5 amps from a different system or from a, de a generator, if 
if the supply needs more than 5 amps, it'll pull from the battery to supplement the 5 amps it's bringing in from the uh, AC input. So say you need 8 amps at a given time, it'll pull 3 amps from the battery and 5 amps from your primary AC input and, and seamlessly supply any loads that you need uh, with any combination from AC input and and or battery, which is the feature that sold me on this Quattro. That is going to be so nice to be able to shunt power from our hydroelectrically charged systems, have them charge the battery when the load on the AC is low, and then pull from the uh, batteries to supplement the AC in when larger loads on the AC are present. So yeah, I, I'm looking forward to uh, getting that figured out. And, configured properly. Uh, let's see. So then this here has AC out one and AC out two. And I mean that looks like a split phase output but since this is a 120 volt unit I know that that's not split phase output. What I'm assuming is that that's a, uh, let's see, there's a, a line one for essential loads and a line two for uh, non-essential loads. For instance, if you had a powerful generator hooked up to your input, this line two output would only be active when the generator is present and supplying power. So like you could um, hook up high demand items on this line two output, such as uh, electric water heater, or electric space heater, or something along those lines that you wouldn't, would not want to have supplied and there is not a generator or auxiliary AC input present. So um, I'm assuming that's what that is. There's an AC out one which is uh, always active as long as there's battery and or AC in. And then there's an AC out two that's only active when you have AC input from one of the input lines. So yeah, these cable glands are for the AC. And then this, uh, this slot is for your battery cables. And uh, wow, looking forward to getting that hooked up. So yeah, I'll carry everyone along as we uh, get this hooked up and configured and working. And you can follow trials and travails and successes as we uh, accomplish those. So thanks for watching. Uh, please like, subscribe, and share. That helps our channel and uh, helps our family a great deal when you do that. And uh, I really appreciate it. And I'm really amazed at how many subscribers we're getting and how many great comments we're getting. I'm getting, I'm learning all kinds of new things from the comments. And so, yeah, please like, subscribe, share, and please uh, comment and let me know your experiences and any questions you have. All right, take care everybody. Signing off. So a couple things I noticed after uh, <clears throat> mounting the Quattro in place is Victron's amazing attention to detail. So I don't know if you how well you can see with the bad lighting in here, but right here around the screw that holds the front cover in place there's an area where there's no paint or powder coating it's just exposed aluminum and then if you notice on the uh, cover there's a matching square or circle of um, exposed metal so those those match up when the covers in place to give uh, electrical conductivity to the uh, front cover so that it's grounded by the chassis ground. Uh, the second thing is uh, you can see the battery terminals, actually all the terminals have copper uh, split ring washers or lock washers on them. I've never seen copper split ring washers but uh, yeah, I mean, they just uh, really go all out, which I guess stands to reason since 
you do pay a premium price for these products, but it appears to me to be well worth it. Um, I've had about a year's experience with the Victron products, and I'm continually impressed with how well they perform and how many features they have, and again, their attention to detail.